Hello everybody, welcome to this fourth part of this tutorial series about flying retro-style AVA spacecraft. Today, we're gonna land on the moon. Yes! Of course, as we are Kerbal Space Cowboys, we're gonna do this, do this manually all the way from the start of the power descent to touchdown. So before starting, let me remind you some of the things that are involved here. Um, we are in low orbit around the moon, and specifically in a descent orbit, uh, which means that uh, it's elliptical. Uh, we were in a low parking moon orbit, and um, we did a maneuver to put our periapsis roughly about 400 kilometers from, from our targeted landing spot, which is right here somewhere in the middle of the Sea of Tranquility. And our periapsis is here at 12 km altitude, simply because we're gonna start the power descent at periapsis the same way Apollo 11 did. Mm, by the way, in this uh, particular cockpit we have in KSP, uh, we are not able to track, uh, to do a targeted landing basically, because uh, the disk key here doesn't provide us this information about uh, a deviation from the targeted landing spot, which uh, Apollo 11 had and could do. So we are doing this um, <laughs> roughly, let's say. This brings me to the point that uh, in KSP with retro style e IVA like this, it's important for you to pick a, a predetermined landing spot on the map view. Otherwise, you may end up contributing to the beautiful moon geology features by adding a nice crater in the surface, which we obviously don't want to do today. So how is this gonna go? Basically, we will start our burn at the periapsis facing retrograde at full throttle. We have mainly three things to worry about in our case. Uh, it's our altitude to, relative to the terrain, our vertical speed and our um, surface speed. To put those uh, parameters all nicely together, we have mainly two things we can do. We can control our pitch and we can control our throttle. Basically, what you want to do first is uh, being at full throttle for like uh, five minutes and uh, you control your uh, altitude rate only with your pitch because what you want to do is bleed off as much orbital speed as possible. Thus, uh, why we keep the full throttle. But um, to sum it up quickly, what you will do from orbit to the surface is that you will be pitching up and up and up and up and up and up. While doing so, you will be throttling down and down and down and down. Because at the end, you will be at very low speed. You will need to be adjusting your attitude constantly and your throttle constantly uh, to achieve a smooth landing. Uh, it's nice to remember that uh, in real life uh, this was uh, done almost automatically. Um, there were three programs running, P63, 64 and 66, and it's only in the last one, P66, which is quite famous, where the astronauts could control the attitude while the computer was riding the throttle. Uh, as usual, I have put some resources and uh, video links in the description if you want to learn more about this topic. So here we are, uh, let's discuss quickly how it's gonna go. So we're gonna start burning retrograde, so I'm in the surface mode at minus, so that we can align to retrograde. Then, when we reach periapsis, right here in two minutes, we will go full throttle on the engine. We are also gonna use the X pointer instrument, this time in landing mode. So how is this going? It's pretty simple, same as the docking really. It shows our lateral velocity uh, and forward velocity. In three scales of a label, so times 10 means that's 200 meters per second, right here and right here, then 20 meters per second, and then two meters per second uh, to zero. Uh, we have our throttle meter, uh, thrust meter right here, uh, surface speed right here, also here on this analog display, radar altitude here. Uh, we also have the tape meter, uh, altitude range, range rate instrument, which shows altimeter and also altitude rate. And uh, yeah, that's it. So you have to constantly 
be switching between this instrument at the end, but at the beginning between this, this, and uh, yeah, these two basically, these three, let's say with the throttle. An important thing that you want to do is keep an eye on your altitude rate compared to your altitude. Because if you're going down too fast, you may want to pitch up or increase the throttle to not crash in the terrain. And conversely. Uh, right, I think that's all. Uh, let's actually do it. Enable RCS. Uh, also, one thing to note, the throttle down in Apollo occurred at uh, like six minutes, uh, a big six, mi six minutes after the start of the burn. We're gonna do roughly the same, but uh, uh, you have to adapt this uh, to your landing spot and uh, altitude above the, above the moon. So seven seconds, engine arm on, two, one, burn. Okay. We see that now we are suborbital. And the vertical speed is slowly starting to go down. And here we see our speed, which is 1600 meters per second, is slowly going down. We're gonna deploy landing gear. So this first part of the landing is pretty easy, just really bleeding of speed. Just keep an eye on the tape meter, not going down too fast. I like to keep it, uh, when starting at 12 km above the surface, I like to keep it uh, between 10 to 15 meters per second. So right now I'm starting to pitch up, as you can see. Yeah, and this starts to decrease, as you can see. I'm also in the precise scale for the FDAI, so I can see where is my retrograde vector compared. Where am I compared to the retrograde ve ve retrograde vector? One thousand four hundred meters per second, four kilometers above the ground, uh, and seeing the terrain, I think we just enter Mare Tranquillitatis, Sea of Tranquility, Tranquility. Because the terrain is very flat, very good for landing. We are now less than 4 kilometers above the surface. I'm gonna continue pitching up to bring this a bit down. Don't forget you also have precise control if you need a more precise adjustments to your attitude. Yeah, don't forget you can use that. And you see... I'm pitching more to horizontal to get more vertical speed. Now it's increasing and yeah, we just passed the 1000 meters per second mark. So right now I'm gonna do a roll maneuver. Uh, sorry, yeah, turn on, turn off SAS and let us roll in the good attitude. Basically with the windows facing up. So then when we pitch over, we will be able to see our landing spot. Okay, here we are. Uh, I may need to pitch up more. Eight hundred meters per second. Let's 
700 per meters per second, 1.5 kilometers above the surface. Mm, I'm gonna throttle down right here to 60%. Because on the, yeah, it, there's a gap. You can go like 80%. It has, it goes from uh, like 95 to 60% instantly. And then all the way to zero almost, or ten. I think it's like 10% minimum throttle, I'm not sure. Of course, this depends on your spacecraft. Here it's the LAM, but in KSP you could have whatever spacecraft. But the same rules apply. Okay, so we start to pitch more. Yep. Seven hundred meters above the ground. Four meters per second vertical speed. Because right now we are still a bit fast. Four hundred and forty meters per second. This is global, by the way. This is not only horizontal speed. This is your global speed. This all, uh, takes all direction in account. Um, let's pause here a second. So what I'm doing here is blending speed. Uh, uh, it's like I'm targeting to be vertical at around uh, 200 meters or 100 meters uh, above the surface uh, to, to get a smooth landing and control precisely the last part. If you are still blending horizontal speed at less than these altitudes, uh, this might get a little funky. So I'm just playing safe here and first blending off uh, as much speed as I can. Of course, keep an eye on your remaining delta V. 600 meters per second, we are good. And uh, 200 meters per second. So now you can see this needle is coming towards the center. Oh, and I'm going up a bit, that's not a problem. I'm throttling down and pitching up. So we have 40% throttle. Minus one meters per second vertical velocity. And to 75 meters above the ground. Which should see the surface soon. Yeah, I think. No, not yet. Okay, so 90 meters per second forward velocity. Pitching over and we can see the surface. So we are low and a bit too fast in the forward velocity. So I'm basically hovering, going up a bit. It's not a big deal. Just losing uh, delta V, but uh, I need to bleed off the, the forward velocity first. We are 30 meters above the ground, 100 feet.
20 meter switch into one scale, one time scale. Throttling down, pitching up. Nine, seven, six, five, four forward, two. And okay. So I'm pausing here. Now we are flying vertical basically. We did cancel all our all our forward velocity. So now we can just uh, be completely vertical, cancel all those needles, no forward, no lateral velocity, and only worry about our altitude and altitude rate by managing our throttle and yeah, keeping an eye on the nav ball and the X pointer. So let's do it. 10 meters. Looking good. Nine. Minus 0.32. Contact. Uh, nice. Engine arm off. RCS off. Houston, Franklin Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. So here we go. Landing on the moon in real solar system with the LEM. Uh, all manual from uh, start of the power descent to the surface. Uh, let me do a quick recap. So you're in orbit. Before the landing, you did set your orbit to have your perilune uh, roughly at 400 kilometers um, before your targeted landing spot. You start burning at periapsis, facing retrograde. Uh, you need to bleed off speed first. You keep an eye on your uh, altimeter and altitude rate. Accordingly, you adjust your pitch uh, so that your altitude rate is uh, uh, not too high, not too low. Uh, then, when nearing, I'd say, to near 600 meters per second to 500 to 700, depends on your craft, depends on your moon, depends on your thrust to weight ratio, you throttle down and you start to pitch more and more, throttle down, 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 down. Uh, when you reach 200 meters per second forward velocity, you can use the X pointer instrument to get more precise reading on the lateral and forward velocities. When it reaches 20 meters forward velocity, you switch to one time scale and you continue to pitch up, throttle down. And uh, yeah, that's like a circle. You check that, you check that, you check that, you check that, uh, throttle also. Uh, you will see at the beginning it's quite common to forget uh, one instrument in the loop and uh, you, you you will notice oh crap i'm going up since one minute i didn't realize uh yep <laughs> because there's uh, quite a lot to do i think next episode uh, which will be the last in this series since we pretty much covered everything in flying those type of spacecraft will be the ascent back to orbit but uh, specifically while targeting uh, a spacecraft, uh, Columbia here in our case, and yeah, how to insert into an orbit that allow for a rendezvous later. Okay, so thank you everyone. Uh, of course, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to do so, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.